Oh my god, I'm not ready for this. Okay. Setting my alarm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> When the stars fall out the sky, I try to catch them When the past fades on heart, where we collect them Every droplet of your time has my attention Any worry on your mind, I can deflect them Baby, tell me if you're listening If you wanna run away, I will protect ya If your head is in the ground and you wanna get out We can go Bitch, I'm up. <laughs> Good morning, hotties, and best believe it is actually morning. It is so early right now. Woke up at 5 a.m. today because apparently it helps with anxiety and stress, and um, I need I need help with that. <laughs> also, apparently waking up early can help with nightmares. I don't know what's been up with me lately, but I've been waking up every night like in a jolt. I'll be like. <gasps> But I won't remember what my dreams are. Like, I feel like they're just so intense that my brain is just like, mm mm. I just wake up feeling really sad and scared. On the New York trip, the girlies were scared because apparently I was crying in my sleep. So, yeah, but I, I just wanna fix that. I don't wanna be sad when I'm sleeping. It obviously helps with productivity because, again, you're just up earlier. You can start the day earlier. Bring down your skincare to your decollete area. I've been using this as moisturizer when I'm wearing makeup that day, and I really like it so far. Let's get this day started. The sun is rising. Waking up this early could also help me feel a little less guilty about having slow mornings because I have this time to settle down, collect my thoughts before work starts. Usually I just roll out of bed and I just go straight to my computer and I'm just dead. So I think this is just really nice to be able to go into my five minute journal and just express gratitude. The sun is waking up showing her love. So I think that's perfect. I have so many excited updates for you guys in this vlog. We basically kind of redid the entire living room. I really, really love what it looks like now, so I can't wait to show you. <laughs> I need to open the window. Suki just pooped and it smells so bad. This is my planner for 2024. It's so cute. It's a doodle planner by my girl, Amanda Rach Lee. I love her so much. But I'm just gonna plan my day just to get all like the stress out of here and onto the paper. I don't know, something about physically writing things down just really helps me. I have some unexpected work to do at around 9 a.m. So I'm just gonna grind that out before I actually start getting ready because I'm kind of stressed about it. I only found out about it at 10 p.m. yesterday, so hopefully I can get it done. Y'all know me and my passion for fashion. <laughs> and let me tell you, Lucan is the place to go because it's one of the leading Korean fashion brands. They offer tons of high quality and trendy pieces while also being at a really good price point. They have K-pop inspired, Y2K, streetwear, coquette, minimalistic pieces. Baby, they truly have it all with new arrivals refreshed daily. And don't worry, everyone can have a piece of this. Lucan has worldwide shipping and has a commitment to sustainability and ethical production. I love this top. You'll see later, I styled it in three different ways, but okay. Can we also take a moment for these jeans? These are my new favorite 
favorite jeans. I love how funky and just, I'm just, I just feel like a cool girl. I'm really not gonna lie. The bag is also so cute and fun. I know that I can just fit so many things in there. I kind of wanted to step out of my comfort zone with this midi skirt. It kind of flares on the ends. I think it's a really interesting silhouette. I love the design of this fluffy cardigan. It's really perfect for layering. This is the outfit I decided to wear today. She's comfy, cute. She's on the go. I just think the pants get a little bit more elevated with this kind of off the shoulder top. Okay, I don't know what came over me, but I have been loving gray lately. I think wearing it just looks so fun. So I thought I would style this entirely gray outfit. I love me an off the shoulder top. And I also paired it with this maxi skirt that has the cutest bow detailing on the bottom. This next one is super casual, but I really like the shape of the tank top. I think it's super flattering and the baggy jeans, come on, I love them. The quality of these pieces are so good and the fit, oh my gosh, I think they fit me so beautifully. I mean, I am on the shorter side, so usually pants are a little bit long, but since I always wear platforms, like it's perfect. I just look like I have long legs. For my body type, it's always just kind of hard to shop online because I always have to get it tailored, you know, it just like really doesn't fit well, but with everything here, everything fits perfect. If you want to up your fashion game, make sure you use my code Jasmine to get a special 40% off discount plus free shipping. Oh my gosh, I'm also going to be partnering up with Lucan to do a giveaway for you guys. Five of my lucky hotties can win a $100 Lucan gift card. So if you want to enter, make sure to check the link in the description. This is so good. I'm so excited for y'all to win. <laughs> I was thinking I can make a matcha, but at the same time, I'm gonna go to a cafe later today to do some work. Like, I'm just gonna be like that girl, you know? I'm just gonna be cute and just be like. <laughs> so then I'm kind of thinking of drinking an energy drink, but at the same time, babe, it's like literally nine. I, I don't think I should start the morning off like that yet. So maybe later. <laughs> That's crazy. My camera's cold. I don't know why. I feel like in such a good mood right now. I'm happy to be here. I think it's just because I chose to woke up at five. I had no other obligations. Like when I have to wake up at like 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. to go to the airport, when the plane literally leaves at one because I'm Vietnamese and my parents just need to be there just so early. That's when I get a little bit grumpy. But right now I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm just a girl that just woke up early. Like that's so fun. <laughs> I want to tidy up everything because it's not, it's not looking too good right now. We were out really late last night. I was trying to figure out outfits like we were just go 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 can't believe that I've been up for five hours now, but I wanted to show you since the apartment is clean now, I wanted to show you the updated living room. Martin and I just hosted a hot sauce party. So if you've watched Hot Ones, it's like basically a challenge while you just eat a lot of hot sauce and ask each other questions. We had so many people over. It was like 11 of us. Oh my God. <laughs> you look like you're wanting to sweat. <laughs> So we set up a really cute dining table. It was really fun. But with that, we have been living here for almost two years now and we had not updated our living room since the day that we moved in. There was just no vision. I wasn't really happy with it. So the fact that we were hosting a kind of like bigger party, I thought that would be like the kick in our ass to be like, okay, let's update this. This entire area was really different. We got a new console. This took us literally five hours to build, but I think it looks really cute. It took me a while to try to figure out how I wanted to decorate this area. But I think it looks really nice. I I mean, I'm not in love with the cords here, but yeah, what are you gonna do? The baby Smisky is hiding, so cute. Martin's only request was that we displayed his Lego car, so here it is. These candlestick holders are so stunning. I love chrome, and especially since the console has some chrome, as you can see right here, I thought it would match. I love the look of candles, but my fear of Suki setting herself on fire just overrides that. Like, you know, I, I, I don't need that. They put wax over it too, just so it looks a little bit more real. I mean, it doesn't look that real, but since this is where we put the candles, we thought that we would have like a fragrance theme going on. I don't know. So we have a little matchstick thingy and then our Aesop room spray. This is probably my favorite piece of furniture in the entire apartment. I love it. I've been seeing it on Pinterest so much, but I think it matches us so well. And the best part is that they have like clothes shelving. Here, this is where we have our Switch, our Wi-Fi, some games. And I think what really irked me about the last 
console that we have was that it wasn't a console at all everything was open shelving so it was really hard to decorate and actually have it be functional it just looks so cluttered so i think this is perfect we added one of martin's old decks right there because i think it just like matches the color scheme we moved the record player to our bedroom and replaced it with this lamp here we really wanted a kind of sanctuary really calming vibe there's not so much clutter here anymore and i think that just really it's great. We changed the blanket here just to kind of match that sanctuary color palette. It's very calming and neutral. Instead of having the lamp that over arched like that, I liked it a lot, but it was gold. So it doesn't really match with the other chrome details that we have. We added this paper lamp. It's so cool and big. It feels like the moon and the sun at the same time. <laughs> this side is empty now. Miffy used to be here, but she moved all the way over there. There used to be a plant here and then all my books over there. But again, since we have this pretty big console, I thought it would just be too much to look at. This table was fairly new. I love it. It looks like it's kind of levitating, but I'm so sad because I did my own nails and I got acetone on it. Overall, I think the living room looks more cohesive and intentional. This living room in night mode, like it's so good. Like it's just vibes, literally vibes. I absolutely prefer it at night. So I can't wait to show you, but that's also why we put Miffy over there just so there's mood lighting in every corner. I'll show you later. Don't worry. <laughs> We're gonna be heading to a cafe. I'm so hungry. It's 10.30 right now. I mean, I did wanna get there at like nine, but hot girls take a long time to get ready, okay? I'm sorry. in there for longer i was feeling so productive but then i was drinking my coffee and i was like mm, i kind of gotta go like i you know i kind of gotta go and i'm too nervous to do it here so i'm, I'm gonna go home now <laughs> bye yeah uh... Hi, I'm home. Oh my gosh, guys, it's not my greatest trait, but I am an eavesdropper. Okay, whenever I'm just sitting around at a cafe or at a restaurant, I can't help but hear what the people next to me are talking about, especially when they're talking so loud. And I think today I just witnessed a breakup. They were holding hands and they were crying and they're like, I love you so much, but, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then they started whispering. So I don't know for sure, I guess, if they broke up, but that's tea I have for you because <laughs> I was like, wow, I literally just sat down. I'm having brunch and a show. I definitely have a lot of work today, so I'm gonna be doing this at home, I guess, because I still got this coffee. I still got half. Like, I literally paid 80 extra cents for oat milk too. Why am I, why? Anyways. <laughs> It's around 3 p.m. now. I've been working for a while. I thought I would take a little break and I wanted to journal because I was scrolling on Pinterest last night and I saw this really adorable journal prompt. I feel like it's so positive and lovely. I think it's a really good gratitude prompt. I've been seeing so many people journal more and I think it's so cute, especially to ring in the new year. I feel like it's just gonna be I feel like January flew by. I don't know, like this month did not seem real to me. How's your 2024 going lately? I feel like, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what happened this month. It, it just went by so fast. I feel so weird right now because my body's literally vibrating from the caffeine. Sometimes caffeine really affects me like this, but sometimes I feel nothing. I thought I would take the chance today, but I was humbled. <laughs> my body's super awake right now, but my mind, like I'm so sleepy and tired and I want to take a nap, but whenever I take naps, it's like, for three hours and then afterwards I feel like shit. Once I'm horizontal and calm, like there's no telling when I'm gonna wake up. Taking a nap might also defeat the purpose of me waking up so early today, but I had five hours of sleep. It was so fun to do. If you are journaling this 
here. I really recommend, oh, that was a mess. I really recommend doing this prompt. Some things I wrote were a sweet treat after dinner, solo dance parties, the way that Suki talks a lot, putting bows on everything. Oh my gosh. Also, okay, I just got my bow tattoo retouched. She added these red loopies. I feel like it looks a lot cuter. I hated my other tattoo and I wanted to love it, especially since it's gonna be in my body forever. But tell me why people are being mean to me about it on TikTok. I had to block and delete them. Like I do not need that negativity in my life. But I was like, that is not a very nice thing to say to someone after they've gotten something permanently on their body. But I like it so. Yeah, don't be mean to me. I just wrote dangly keychains because I was looking at this. It's a 17 keychain. And I really love just low-key K-pop merch. Like, if you know, you know. But if you don't know, then it's still cute. I literally have a whole other journal thingy of them. I was just like, I love 17 and I have a lot of merch from them. I also did one for the last couple of days of 2023. It was so fun. I love journaling. so badly so we're heading over to the restaurant and we might just window shop around because i need to let go of this energy like i am actually freaking out like in my body so let's go I'm so full right now, I might actually explode, but I want to show you the apartment at night. Yeah. Better one than baby. Yeah. Yeah. I do have a little bit more work to do tonight because I want to get a YouTube video up this weekend, so I'm just going to just finish everything off and then I can wind down. <laughs> oh, shit. 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 It's almost 11 now. I think I'm going to go to sleep finally. I'm so tired. I did feel a little bit delirious today. I'm not going to lie. But I think it was a really good day. I feel like I was super productive. Fun hanging out with you. This flashlight is so bright. But I'll see you next time. I love you so, so much. Bye.